the news that Senator Harris was making history in, in this multidimensional way uh, struck a personal note today, I think, for many Americans. Um, I saw this today, and it resonated with me. This is from Vanita Gupta, who is the head of the Civil Rights Division in the Obama Justice Department, herself a bit of a trailblazer. She tweeted this, not going to lie, tears. She said, quote, it is a historic day for black women, South Asian women, women of color, women everywhere for America. Joining us now is Vanita Gupta. She is president and CEO of the Leadership Conference on Civil and Human Rights. And as I mentioned, she was head of the Civil Rights Division in the Obama Justice Department. Uh, Vanita, it's great to see you. Thanks for being here. Great to be here. I, uh, I'm still tearing up, so I'm sorry, Rachel, but I feel emotional tonight. Well, tell me about your emotions. It's okay if you're emotional about it. Talk, talk to me about why you feel that way. It's, it's a historic day in so many ways. I mean, you know, to think of the daughter of Indian immigrants, Jamaican immigrants on the ticket. Uh, this is a woman who has been a fighter her whole life. She has been a trailblazer, a blazer of first. She's had to take a lot of hits from a lot of people in all of the roles that she's played. She's been uh, her record as senator. She's one of the most progressive U.S. senators that we have. And so today for this announcement, uh, for her to be a first, the first black woman, the first South Asian American woman. Um, it's it's really a statement. And, and you know this, Rachel, it's been some dark times uh, in this country for those of us who work for justice, who are trying to protect vulnerable communities, uh, who are trying to stand for a new America. And this announcement today uh, is gives us all hope. It has us fired up because of what it says about our future, about the future of this country. Uh, and I just think it's an absolutely historic choice. Specifically, the issue of her being the, the daughter of immigrant parents. I mean, there's a lot about her biography, I think, that resonates with a lot of different people. Um, there's a lot about her palpable sort of political skills that I think resonate with people, particularly when they're trying to kind of handicap how this is going to help or help the Biden ticket um, in the general election. But on the issue of her being the daughter of immigrants, that resonates differently now um, under this administration than it even did when Barack Obama was the presidential nominee of the Democratic Party in 2008, um, who was the, the son of an immigrant father. I wonder if there is sort of something either to the emotional resonance here or potentially to just the political utility here for her to ha bring that biographical background, to bring that life experience to the fight with an administration that has been more vocally anti-immigrant than anything in the last, than any administration in the last century? Yeah, look, I think there's no question about it. Um, I think her own biography as the daughter of immigrants, her story, but also what she has stood for. I mean, we, you know, this has been, the Trump administration has really declared a war on immigrants, has undermined our democracy, has undermined notions of inclusion and justice and fairness. And her biography stands as something very different. As a U.S. senator, she has been a champion for, uh, you know, the minimum wage for LGBTQ rights, voting rights, justice and policing reform. She was out in the streets protesting after George Floyd's murder. Uh, she's led the charge on key legislation in Congress on these issues. And so I think there's a very kind of particular resonance. Uh, she reflects the coalition that is the future of America. And there's a particular resonance based on her own record and the things that she has fought for. Uh, Americans are hungry for this now um, after what we have been dealing with. And she, her record as one of the most progressive U.S. senators as a civil rights champion, her biography, I think, really speaks to this moment and is going to fire up and already is firing up a lot of people who are energized uh, to fight for the soul of this country in the next several months.